What's going on guys, it's DC here and today I'm answering your questions in my car. The first question I had today from the last video was, what the fuck are you looking at? Have you never seen someone record a video in their car before? Fuck! The first question that I had from you is, how do you transition from one job in cybersecurity into another job in cybersecurity? Luckily for the cybersecurity industry, this is super fucking easy. It's super easy. It's not like a trade, for example, where you're a plumber and then you have to, you know, reapply and, and recertify to do, uh, I don't know, electrician work. It's not like that. Cybersecurity is really easy to jump from one position to another if you're currently a pen tester or, for example, working as a SOC analyst and you want to transfer into one of the other roles, basically change over to from blue side to red, red to blue, whatever. This is absolutely achievable. It's perfectly achievable. What most companies look at here is the same as what you needed to get into the industry in the first place, which is experience. The other thing that they look at, of course, is key certifications. So for example, you're a SOC analyst, you want to get into pen testing, you would get something like the OSCP or similar. If you want to go from pen testing to being a SOC analyst, perhaps you should start looking at key certifications that are like industry standard. For example, like the Splunk certifications. I don't even know why this question is asked, to be honest. The next question is what operating system do you use? For my everyday use, I use Windows 11 with WSL2. Is it ideal? Yeah, it is kind of ideal for my situation where I'm writing a lot of reports and I like to have that Windows backend to be able to go between the different Windows or Microsoft suite of applications while also having access to virtual machines inside of that to run things like Kali Linux or uh, Black Arch or whatever the hell it is that I want to use. Sometimes I boot up a, a live USB into another operating system and use that. But honestly, most of the time, I do most of the work inside Windows 11 and with WSL. For any tasks that are going to take ages, like when I'm doing a, a recon on a target, I'll use a virtual machine that I have in the cloud that just runs never ending. Costs a little bit of extra money to do it that way, but for me, that's an ideal situation. Let me know in the comments, what do you use as your everyday operating system? I'd love to hear about what you do. Blue Team certifications are one of the highest asked questions that I get asked all the time and the simple answer is the security blue team certifications if you go to google type in security blue team you will be greeted with the security blue team website where you can have a look at their training packages and certifications my opinion is that these are the best blue team certifications to get aside from these there are also the comp tia certifications like the security analyst certification cysa plus as well as the CompTIA Security Plus, which are great fundamental certifications to get alongside the Security Blue Team certs. If you would like to know more about Blue Team certifications in cybersecurity, please do smash like, subscribe for more, comment below, and follow me on all of the social medias because this is the exact kind of content that I bring out here very regularly. Please do also check out the Safer Internet Project, which is saferinternetproject.com for your own learning experience in primarily red team environments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.